Hello YouTube, Lyricide 17 here, but you can just call me Travis. And welcome back for another collection update. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these videos, so uh, I've actually got some stuff to show you, so uh, let's just uh, get to doing that. Uh, in the background, we are listening to, uh, sadly, a band that just uh, split up a couple weeks ago, uh, Substratum out of my area. They're from Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is my favorite release they have from this year because they actually have two. Uh, this is Stratosphere. I'm sure I've played this in the background in one of my videos, I'm sure, but uh, we're going to listen to it again. Uh, too bad, but it sounds like uh, the, the ashes of this band is already is already right to work, so uh, fingers crossed that we'll get something cool from that. So yeah, Stratosphere by Substratum. All right, we got a few CDs, got a couple tapes, let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, first up, this album just came out on Friday. I uh, was really, really excited to listen to this and see what it was all about. Didn't listen to any of the promotional singles or anything. Uh, this is Way of the Road by Canada's Skullfist. Uh, they haven't actually released uh, an album in like four years since Chasing the Dream came out in 2014, I'm almost certain. Um, that was really the album that kind of like really like was my launching pad for the new wave of traditional heavy metal genre uh, before you know coming across that album I didn't really know that it was like really a thing that a, a bunch of bands were putting out awesome modern day traditional heavy metal uh, and doing it very very well so that album was awesome loved it and uh, so yeah this one had uh, had kind of a kind of a high bar to get to uh, or at least uh, my expectations for it were going to be pretty high and uh, I have to say, my, my very initial listen was uh, kind of disappointing. Uh, and uh, over, over subsequent listenings, I've probably listened to it maybe like, I don't know, six or seven times now. Uh, it has improved a, a lot. Uh, I, think, I think the thing that, I, that, that I'm dealing with is that uh, it's not necessarily that the song, the, the, they're more song songs. It's, it's that there's something about it that just like lacks an oomph to it. Um, that, I don't know, it's, it's just not as aggressive. I'm not sure exactly, I can't quite pinpoint it yet. But uh, I do like it, 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 is a good, it is a good album. Definitely, if you, if you like Chasing the Dream, definitely listen to this because uh, you'll like it. Uh, the first four tracks in particular, uh, You Belong to Me, No More Running, I Am a Slave, and Witch Hunt, all great tracks. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, good stuff. Uh, in particular, the solo on "I Am I Am a Slave." That's a that's a great solo. Uh, let me show you the insides of the just uh, lyrics and uh, photos in a kind of a drawn on, on a line paper kind of. I mean, perhaps these were the originals, but they don't appear to be. Yeah, maybe there's some error crossing out. Maybe they're originals. Who knows? But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, just in general, solid riffing. The vocals sound, he doesn't quite have the uh, the, the piercing highness of, uh, of that I feel like he had before, but his voice still sounds great. Uh, like I said, soloing is still totally on point, so uh, no complaints in that department. But yeah, just uh, a great album. Almost definitely will be on my top 30 for the year. I, mean, I don't want to give off the impression that I don't think this album is good because it is good. Just a... Uh, I was kind of hoping for like top 10, top 5 album of the year, and it definitely is not that for me. Uh, but like I said, I still really like it, and uh, if, if you're into traditional heavy metal, if you listen to uh, Skull Fist in the past, Chasing the Dream, uh, and you like that one, definitely definitely give this one a spin, because you're probably going to be pretty happy with it. Uh, so yeah, uh, Way of the Road by Skull Fist. Alright, uh, next one up. Uh, this one came out a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks, three weeks ago now. Uh, this is the new one from uh, Irish thrash band Gamma Bomb. This is their uh, sixth album, I think, maybe now. Uh, yeah, I think sixth. Uh, the last one that came out a couple years ago, Untouchable Glory, I believe it's called. That was easily my least favorite of their albums by quite a lot, so I was a little apprehensive coming into this one. I wasn't really sure if they were going to continue on that tra trajectory or if they were going to uh, maybe uh, bump it back up. And you know what? They bumped it back up. I might even say this is a, 
about on par with Terror Tapes, which was one that came out prior to uh, to Untouchable Glory. But uh, regardless, they, they definitely stepped it back up, and uh, I, I'm much more happy with this album than I was the predecessor. Uh, this one's got, I don't know, 12, 13 tracks. Uh, you know, just like all the other stuff, uh, just, you know, awesome, solid thrash riffs. The soloing, which is the thing I probably like about the band the most, uh, is, is incredible. Uh, much, much uh, right, right back up to their their high bar with the soloing. Just really, really good stuff. Uh, the vocals are, are, are really enjoyable and stuff. Uh, I, I will say he does, he does a little bit less of, like, the kind of, like, really high-pitched uh, wailing stuff. But uh, maybe, I, I feel like he kind of fucked up his voice or something, maybe. So maybe he may, may not be able to do that. Uh, one thing that I may is maybe perhaps new that I haven't really noticed uh, previously, he uh, at times has uh, employed sort of a sort of a Halford-esque sounding uh, sing whale, which is kind of enjoyable. Doesn't overuse it, so it's kind of cool when it shows up. Uh, one thing I did think was cool about uh, the artwork and stuff in the liner notes is everything sort of is like a... Everything's sort of in like sort of a book form, so everything's like uh, all the credits are just kind of interesting to read through, and then uh, all of the uh, the song titles are all uh, kind of like uh, pop art and horror book covers, which is kind of a, a cool thing to see. Let's give you guys some time to kind of let me give you close ups on all these. So, here we got Give Me Leather. And we got A Hangman. And then 6616. And then what's this? Uh, Bring Out the Monster. It's kind of a boring cover on that one. But, you know, it's, it certainly fits that style. Uh... Rest in peace, you. And then Motorgeist. It's a really great song, Motorgeist. Not a boring one, but that's okay. It still fits the style. All Reich. Stay Rotten. That's some motorcycles there. We are going to eat you. Probably my favorite song on the album, which should not surprise you at all. Kurt Russell. Uh, World Gone to Hell. And then the last track, Face Blaster, which apparently is a shotgun. <laughs> And then more of that book stuff in the back. See, so anyway, uh, if, if you liked, uh, if you're, if you've liked Gamma Bomb in the past, you're, you'll definitely like this album. It's, uh, it definitely is, is, the, you know, right in their, right in their uh, groove. And uh, yeah, if you just like thrash in general, definitely check out Gamma Bomb if you haven't before. Uh, I definitely think that they are uh, worthy of your time. And uh, like I said, this one is back up a little bit uh, more quality than their last one for me. So yeah. Uh, Gamma Bomb with I don't actually think I said the name of the album The, Se the Speed Between the Lines No, this album is up from this year too I think I, I think I said that, yeah Anyway, th actually I think Yeah, actually just, just Actually just one of these is not from this year And it's from last year Alright, uh, change of genres here This one came out early October Uh, these guys are from the US I actually think it's just one guy maybe Uh, this is, uh, debut Album from black metal band Haunt with Grimmeries of Undead Power. Uh, these guys are, like I said, guys, it might be one guy out of Oregon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this album is really, really interesting. Uh, I don't want to try to be like hyperbolic at all when I say this, but uh, man, every time I listen to this, not necessarily the. I'm not trying to say it's bad. Not the, it's not the quality that I'm referencing here, but Mysterious Dom Satanas, uh, Self Hatter Burzom, and Hevis Highlight Taras. Those three albums, uh, the atmosphere that I get from those albums, I just I just hear on this album. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the production quality or uh, 
or what, but man, it's just, it just—it has that like this early '90s black metal atmosphere. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this to anyone who is into you know that era of black metal. Uh, if you're interested even even the more uh, uh, current raw stuff, definitely check this out too. I think you'll you'll find something to dig from it. Uh, just lyrics and stuff on the inside. And it's in an art piece. One comment that someone put on my Instagram that I thought was funny was that uh, actually that that looks actually this looks actually heavy. <laughs> so I thought that was sort of a good plan words pun there. But yeah, definitely this is this is some sick stuff. Uh, the guitars sound awesome. The riffs are great. Uh, the vocals sound just screechy as hell. Uh, yeah, this band's just really. I'm really. I'm really. Uh, Really into this band, uh, and I'm glad to uh, uh, to see where uh, the, uh, glad to see. I'm, I'm interested to see where the, where they continue on from this because uh, this is this is a really really great start, and uh, yeah, I really recommend checking out uh, this album if you're into like I said that early '90s uh, sound black metal, haunt grimmeries of undead power. This is uh, released on Grim Abyss, which I was not familiar with. What were these released on? I don't know, I'm too lazy to look at. All right, next up. Uh, this is actually an artist that I've been hearing a lot of, I've heard a lot about for the last couple years. Just I uh, never really checked out any of her stuff. And actually, she actually had a song submitted uh, for the wrong month. But uh, in my uh, in my music league that I was talking about, I think in my last video, and uh, man, I was just blown away by the song. I ordered uh, this album immediately. And uh, that's uh, this is Dead Magic by Anna von Hauswolf. Uh, Swedish, uh, I don't know, progressive rock, doom, doom ish artist. Not really sure how to categorize her stuff, but definitely sort of a dark, moody, progressive stuff. Uh, the song that was submitted uh, for the week was The Mysterious Vanishing of Electra. And man, hers vocals, just like, just like the. Uh, one thing I really love about really good. Uh, women singers is is when they're uh, when they just like give like their freaking all and just like just sing like everything they've got and uh, her vocals on that song are just uh, just blew me away. Uh, I, I will say I was a little bit disappointed with the rest of the album because uh, none of the, so the songs really got to that level for me. But uh, I did I did I did enjoy the rest of it. Uh, Ugly and Ventral that was another great track. Uh, so yeah, just really interesting stuff. Definitely uh, a good moody record to listen to if you've never checked her out. Because uh, I think the only thing I'd ever heard of her previously was she did some vocals on the, the Wolves in the Throne Room album that came out last year. But that was sort of just like kind of background clean. So it wasn't really anything that was uh, too focal point e for me to, to grab onto. Anyway, this is some cool stuff. Just, uh, what, five tracks? Some of them are... Three of them are like over 10 minutes, maybe. But anyway, just really cool stuff. Uh, I don't know. Just check it out. I'll leave a link, as always. Uh, Dead Magic, Anna Von Hauswolf. All right, uh, last CD. Uh, this album came out in like August. I listened to it like once and then kind of just forgot about it. And then uh, I, got, I kind of got reminded about it. And so I picked it up. This is, uh, this is the new... Uh, album from rapper YG. This is Stay Dangerous. Uh, this is a, another great album. Uh, he released a, one a couple years ago called Still Brazy, which I liked. I thought it was pretty good, but uh, it didn't quite uh, get to the level of the one he had released before that, which is My Crazy Life, which is probably one of my favorite rap albums of all time. Just uh, just every single, every single song is a banger. And that's sort of a, what I listen to a rap for a lot of the times is, is bangers. and So it totally fit the bill. Uh, I think probably one of the problems for me specifically with Still Brazy versus My Crazy Life was the absence of DJ Mustard, who did most of the production on on My Crazy Life. He didn't do, I don't think, any of the songs on Still Brazy. And uh, lucky for me, uh, they are highly reunited on this album. Uh, DJ Mustard doing almost, again, almost every single track on here. And yeah, it just totally, totally works for me. Uh, almost every single song is just total banger and totally right up my alley. Uh, yeah, I really have no complaints about this one. Uh, if I have to say it, it's not, it's not up to my crazy life for me. 
Uh, but that's just such a high bar that I just don't know that it's possible for that to happen. But uh, regardless, really, really like this one. If you liked any of, his, of YG's previous stuff, you'll definitely be into this one. And, uh, you know, like I said, no complaints. Just uh, really, really enjoyable stuff. Uh, one thing I thought was funny, uh, I had I did not know this, but I, w- I was sort of was looking into uh, DJ, uh, DJ Mustard and found out that his actual given first name is Dijon, so... That, that is why uh, the DJ Mustard name. So I thought that was, I don't know, cute or whatever you want to say, but kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, anyway, awesome stuff. YG, Stay Dangerous, another good release from him. Right, got a couple more, just got a couple cassettes left, both from the same label, Kitar Records out of Czech Republic. Uh, first one up, this is, uh, this is the one album that came out last year. Uh, this tape came out this year, but the original release on CD, which I would still love to pick up, but haven't been able to find a copy of it, uh, came out last year. Uh, this is Dana Jean Phoenix with Synth City. Uh, Dana Jean Phoenix is a uh, synth wave, synth pop artist out of Canada. Uh, I would actually, I'm, I'm uh, patiently waiting, hoping it will happen. Uh, her release uh, from this year, I think Pixel Dust is what it's called. Hopefully that'll get a physical release. Hopefully soon, we're, we're running out of time here in 2018 because uh, that has potential for the list. Uh, yeah, this is just a really, really solid uh, Synthwave Synth Pop uh, release. Uh, she has really cool, great vocals. Uh, the production is, is really uh, upbeat and fun. Uh, one thing that's, is, uh, that I do like about this, uh, her in particular, uh, kind of like uh, with uh, an album by an artist called Nina, which I showed earlier in the year, called Sleepwalking. Uh, like her, uh, they sort of have like different uh, synthwave artists who do uh, you know songs here and there. Sort of like how a traditional, you know, when I'm you know like a Britney Spears or something that I'm used to, like have different producers doing the tracks uh, for different songs. So that was I thought that was pretty cool, enjoyable. It's turned me on to a few people. Uh, I did know a few of these beforehand, like uh, Time Cop 1983 and Robots with Ray Guns, but uh, the rest of them I don't think I knew beforehand. Highway Superstar, that's one of the ones I've liked the most that I came across uh, because of doing production on this release. So anyway, that's cool stuff. And yeah, I really like this release, and like I said, Pixel Dust, I'll leave a link to that one too. Uh, I really hope that a physical version of that comes out uh, sometime this year, because that would be cool to see. Here is the cassette. It comes in this cool kind of a uh, tealy green color. So yeah, uh, Sim City, Gina, Jean Phoenix. If you're into uh, you know pop pop music, synth pop stuff, I definitely give this a whirl. You might be into it. And then finally, uh, this is I'm not actually sure how you pronounce this. You may actually pronounce it just by the letters. Uh, A-W-I-T-W, which I found out uh, is uh, is an acronym for A Walk in the Park. So it probably isn't pronounced Awitwa, if that's how you would pronounce it. So it's probably A-W-I-T-W. Uh, with their release, uh, Outcast, because you might assume by looking at this and because they're on the same label. This is Synthwave. This is an artist out of France. Just one guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't actually love this release a whole lot. It's pretty solid. It's just kind of a kind of a sunny day, upbeat kind of stuff. Not typically my jam, but uh, every once in a while, it's something to listen to. Would you wear that sweater if you like the band? And anyway, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this one. I'll leave a link. You can listen, check it out if you want to. But uh, it kind of just it fits the cover, I would say. So if you like the cover, maybe check it out. And then uh, I liked the the tape was cool because the uh, the sticker label uh, was different on each side. So here's the one side. And then Pat Grounds are saying you might like these a little bit more because it has a sticker over the window too. Although it's still soft, so maybe you hate it. Still. And there's the back. Comes on a, I don't know, midnight blue kind of looking tape, which is cool looking. Anyway, so that's uh, ABITW or a Witwa, if you would want to call them that, with an outcast. We had actually quite a few months for this one. 
like I did with a different another release from this label. But uh, this one actually, uh, this one came when it's supposed to, so maybe they're on point now. So yeah, Dana G Phoenix, Sin City, and uh, AW ITW Outcast on Kitala Records, which is a cool label. Name. All right, uh, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm not sure what I have upcoming, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you next time I see you. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you're familiar with any of these releases, please let me know what you think of them, and otherwise, have a good day.